There's an old saying that says, there's nothing more certain in life than death and taxes. And uh, frankly, neither one of those subjects are particularly popular with any one of us. But one of those subjects pops up in our reading for today, and I want to take you to Luke chapter 2. And if you grew up as I did, learning the Christmas story from the Bible, you can probably quote this verse from memory with me. Luke chapter 2, verse 1. And it came to pass in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. Well, you probably no doubt know that the registration had a taxation purpose attached to it. It was the way of the first century government of the Romans of collecting, as it were, the contact data from all of their citizens. And from that data, taxes would be levied upon the population. So taxation was the reason that the events that follow in Luke 2 take place. It's the way that God got the right people, Mary and Joseph, to the right place, Bethlehem, at the right time, the birth of Jesus, for the right purpose to accomplish God's mission in the world. And the one thread that sort of ties it all together was something that was probably unpopular with the population. It probably was unpopular with Mary and Joseph because of the taxes that were going to be levied on them. I want you to think for a moment. If God can use something to them that was so unpleasant to do something so awfully good to them and to all of us, what good things could He be doing with some of the unpleasant things in your life and mine? Yeah, we may not choose to be going through what we're going through or dealing with what we're dealing with, but I want to suggest to you, you might just open your mind to the possibility that God is up to something very good because only from a righteous, perfect, holy, wonderful God like we serve can He take even the difficult things and weave them together in such a fashion that they come out with something very good for all of us. So don't fear those things that are difficult. Just trust that God is going to use them in some way in your life. Hope that encourages you. We'll talk to you again real soon.